Hi guys, today we're going to look at Berkshire Hathaway, ticker symbol BRK.A, using my seven simple steps. Let's quickly have a look at the stock price. It's currently at 433000 and this is its all-time high. Just prior to the pandemic, it was at its previous all-time high at around 340000 had a massive drop-off with the rest of the market, even hit lows of 250, and has rebounded very, very strongly. So just quickly, this is a multinational conglomerate holding company headquartered in Omaha, Nebraska. The company owns wholly a lot of different companies you will have heard of, Geico, Duracell, Dairy Queen, Fruit of the Loom, and has minority holdings but significant minority holdings in Kraft Heinz, American Express, Apple, Bank of America and of course you'll have seen it lots, Coca-Cola. Warren Buffett does love his Coke. CEO is Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger is the Vice President. So just before we head into my steps let's just have a look at some of the moving averages here. You can see that over the last year it has broken beyond all of the major moving averages. I have a 50 day green 200 day in red and a 100 day in yellow. You can see the last time it broke through here was in November and the 50 day has acted a little bit of support but it is breaking away from there. So it's gone through all three of the moving average which is a very bullish sign. And if we just compare to the S&P 500 over the last year, you can see the Berkshire is handily beating it. And if we go to the last five years, despite the boom in tech, Berkshire is beating it by just a nose. So with all the people saying Warren Buffett has lost it and tech's the new way and his ways are old, over the last five years he's beat the market, over the last year he's beat the market. And if we go all time, you can see he has handily beat the market. So don't bet against Warren Buffett. That's the simple lesson there. Berkshire Hathaway currently has a market cap of 661 billion and as I said a share price of around about 434,000. Now you don't have to buy the Berkshire A shares, you can buy the Berk B shares, they're only about $288 a share but you would get extra voting rights if you had the Berk A but this works for both of them. So let's have a look at my seven steps. Firstly is the P ratio less than the market? Yes it is. It has a very low 6.57 P E ratio which is due to the massive net income and profit that I'll be showing you in a few steps. Is this lower than the sector? Yes it is. The sector is 26 and 6.5. That's massively under. And is it lower than the historical average of the market? 17.5 and it is 6. When I was going to review this stock a few months ago, sorry just even last month, before the release of earnings it had a 15p ratio and now it's down to 6. So I wish I did the video then because I would have told you guys to buy it at that point. Is the revenue increasing? Yes. It's gone from 242 billion to 365 billion so that is another pass. And as I said, the profit, sorry, 44.94 billion to 103 billion. So that is a massive, massive increase. They've had a really good year out of the pandemic. Just before we go on the next step, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoy the video. Give a comment on your thoughts. Can you afford Burger? I can't. I'm hoping I will be able to do one day, but right now I definitely can't. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe if you're not. And now let's look at my other step. So have they bought back their shares? Yes, they have. 1.6 million to 1.6 sorry 1.65 million to 1.64 so that is a pass they're buying back their shares just a little bit but that is still good they're rewarding shareholders are the current assets greater than the current liabilities they have 232 billion in current assets and 53 billion in liabilities that is massive and an easy pass they are not greater than their total liabilities but that's fine no extra check so this is currently six passes and a bonus mark will they get the perfect seven and no they won't unfortunately 34 billion to just under 30 billion. So that is a fail. This free cash flow has increased over the last few years, but still 2017 was a better year. So that is seven passes. Sorry, six six passes, one bonus mark, and a failure. Almost a perfect sweep, but not. And let's have a look at this free cash flow yield. So with a free cash flow of around 30 billion and a market cap of 660. This gives a free cash flow yield of 4.5%, which is a free cash flow ratio of just over 22. So that is looking really good in terms of free cash flow ratio. Now let's head, head over to my valuation of Berkshire Hathaway. You can see that, as I said before, it was 34, million, 34 billion in 20. 17 which seemed to be a bit of a good year 22 22 and 29 so i have estimated the future free cash flows i do think berkshire hathaway is going to be a growing company so 
around 30 billion in 2021, increasing to 32, and eventually in 2024, 33 billion, which would give a terminal value of 778 billion. And if you discount this, the present value of future cash flow of around 840 billion. So if we see the current calculated stock price, Free discount of free cash flow gives it a calculated stock price of $553,621 a share, which means it's currently at a 27% discount. I don't think this is unreasonable at all if we look at the future free cash flows. And I think that Warren Buffett can continue growing the company the way it is. Now here's something very interesting. I'm going to look at the Buffett Graham intrinsic value. This is uses the earnings per share, which is around 66,000, which is very high, but obviously with that very high share price, it does look a bit different to others. The expected growth rate is around 7% a year. I did find numbers a bit higher, but I think it's slightly conservative. Um, and the AAA bond yield of 4.4%, which is a treasury bond. So what does the fair value give it? And it estimates a fair value of $1.488 million a share, which gives it a 20, 242% discount and a Graham price, which is a very conservative price of 1.1 million. So these are massive numbers here. Buffett Graham intrinsic value really likes the stock. If Warren Buffett was gonna buy the stock, he would definitely buy it because it's way below his price. Both the models do say it's a buy. I would say that this counter free cash flow is probably a fairer estimation. The share price almost going up three times. I think that is a bit bullish, but it's Buffett's metric. It's not mine. So he knows a little bit better than me. So maybe you should be buying this. His, his, his stock is worth a lot more in his mind. So maybe it is around about 1.1 million. But I do think that the stock is trading at a deep discount at the minute. So do you agree with my valuation of Berkshire Hathaway? I do think it is very very achievable. It's not too bullish. Um, I would say the Buffett Graham intrinsic value is a little bit on the high side, but I think this is definitely a buy in its current price. I've thought it's a buy since I've started investing. To be honest, I've always been a fan of Warren Buffett. I would have bought the share when I first started in 2018 and that would have been a great return and it would have beat the market and it continues to beat the market. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. Get this video as many people as possible and in return I will keep bringing you quality American stocks with my valuation. Do I think they're a buy or not? And please consider subscribing if you're not already and I will catch you guys next time.